guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And for today's video, I'm bringing you guys the videos that you guys have wanted for the past year. Again, you guys like annoying ass flowers, man. Get a new head unit. Get a new head unit. Get a touch screen head unit. So if you guys don't know already, we have actually got a new head unit for the car. Let me actually show you guys in three, two, one. Oh, oh Jesus. We won't, we fucking won't be having one soon. We have actually got ourselves a touch screen head unit from the company called Auto Pumpkin. They've actually been really kind enough to send this out to me for free to do a video on. So, right, so let's quickly do a quick unboxing of the bad boy. Uh, and then we can actually go downstairs and install this. Yo, I'm gonna upload a Tesla, man. It's gonna be boop, 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 boop. So straight up, we've got a user manual. Oh. Don't care. We've got firstly some cables, then we've got some more cables, and then last but not least, we've actually got the head unit itself, which we are gonna quickly get out of the box. Now, oh Jesus. Right then, so let's actually have a look at our new head unit for the car. I'll be doing a POV afterwards uh, to show you guys what this looks like and stuff like that. Let's reveal the new head unit for the car, and if you guys don't know what head unit is, you're about to see. Ready, three, two, one, boom. <laughs> if we can install this today obviously you guys know me i don't do i've never in installed one of these to my car before so let's go install it let's go break my car today right so here is the car right now it is very fucking windy out here oh jesus christ i might get blown away first thing we've actually got to do before touching any electronics is actually disconnect the battery uh, i'm not sure if you have to do this um it's just a preference put that off put that down there away from any metal all right then boys so the the battery is all nice and disconnected now so we've got no no horn we've got no thing and basically we're all good to work on the electronics of the car but anyway uh, this is actually the old head unit if you guys don't know um don't haven't seen it yet this is actually it so it's quite simple obviously you've got your volume on off you know this one dead you know that is that is from the 19 bloody 80s this is what is this get rid of that poo time to pop in the new touchscreen one which has navigation you know, we're gonna get up with the times, you know. So quite simply, you put these in and then you just yank it out a little bit. Very nice. And then hopefully we'll wiggle out and we can see all the cables and in there. Very nice. There you go. <laughs> Yo, wait, hold on. We've actually got the old head unit. Bloody here! Oh, we could chuck this out the window if we want. We could, I don't know, keep it on my shelf in my room. Um, that's crazy! Fam, that is crazy. Jeez, I could put my like pet dog in there. You know, this is a six seat now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, we have got the new head unit right here, and this is the back of it. So it's a little bit different to the old one. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go away for like 10 minutes, try and figure out um, how all this wiring works, and then um, I'll get back to it and I'll install it. actually connected the wiring up literally it's as simple as plug and play i think this whole thing so i plugged the power cable it's actually an adapter that goes on to the actual power and then it goes straight through to the power on here as you guys can see you need to make i'm going to make sure that's really tight by the time i finish with it um, and then i plugged in the right and left aux and it comes with beautifully uh, named tags on literally every single wire i mean it's actually beautiful i mean <laughs> i didn't actually see this but it says take out these screws before installing so let's quickly take them out there we go that's one i think that's the other <laughs> Right boys, the head unit has now been installed. It's not been um, hunched and installed. It is test fitting right now because you always want to test fit your things. We've plugged in the GPS connector. We plugged in that Wi-Fi connector. I don't think I've talked about this, but they come with a GPS and Wi-Fi. I've plugged in the power. I've plugged in everything. So it should be all good to go right now. Here it is. And honestly, does that not look beautiful? That literally is like um, the exact same finish as the top one. I'm, I haven't showed too much of the, um, how to how I do it because honestly, it's not tutorial. It's just to trying to give you guys inspiration to do it yourselves. You know what I mean? Like, if I can do it, genuinely, you can do it. And that's not like some people on YouTube, they're mechanics and they say, oh, well, if I could do it, you can do it. I'm literally, I've only just started doing work to my car pretty much the past year. So, um, yeah, if you guys can do, if I can do this, you guys can simply do this. 
Oh my god, it's on! It's on! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's on! On the thing, it's a fucking welcome! What the fuck is this shit? Of course! All right, guys, it is currently the next day and we've got the Corsa right here. Um, let's actually hop in it because I want to show you guys the radio. It is fucking sick. I mean, mate, I can watch myself on YouTube on here. Here is the head unit. It is absolutely elegant. It is beautiful, except for one thing. There's bloody fingerprints. Look at that. So before actually pushing the head unit in, I actually wired up. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Boom! Yo, we've got a microphone. So when we're taking all those business calls, um, when we're on the go now, yo, they're gonna be hearing out of this 10 grand microphone right here. It's not actually 10 grand, by the way. Just about to turn on the ignition. Let me know what you guys think about the new um, lanyards. They will be coming out very, very soon. Um, it says, Ricer Boys, Slow Car Club. I think they look kind of cool. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm no, no, I'm not um, a graphic designer or nothing, but I think that looks pretty sick. So the head unit is now on the car and look at this. So there it is. And honestly, does that not look like an iPad? I have an iPad in my car. Oh, what are we saying? And voila, boys. We've got a bloody iPad in my car. What are you saying? So let me walk you guys through a little bit. You know, you guys can see all the, the main apps you're going to use down here you've got navigation this ain't some bullshit navigation this is actually and this is google maps and it works extremely well look at how responsive that is to me two fingers look at that there's warwick royal Leamington spa big up so on bluetooth if we click bluetooth we can actually phone people from my um thing because it's connected through bluetooth so if i wanted to call you know my nan or something i could you know something that is so unnecessary for this but you can do is you can actually use google chrome if you really want you know you could literally let's be honest guys and girls out there we can actually watch porn on here you know <laughs> and of course we can watch my own channel on here look at that You know, we've got we've got Bluetooth music that we can connect. We're actually connected on my phone right now. Walk it like I talk it, bang. Um, let's click play. Let's actually turn up the volume real quick. Oh. Obviously, we've got radio. It does work. Hold on. We're drifting from the southwest all day, mainly BBC Three. Wales, you, whoever the BBC. It's the most depressing thing. If you wanna, if you wanna have depression, listen to BBC Three. You know how much nicer does my car look right now? I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to explain, but if you want your car to feel newer, you know, have all this navigation stuff over here. If your car doesn't have Bluetooth, for example, you know, my car doesn't. It only has a, an AUX. Get a new head unit like this Auto Pumpkin one, and you've got Bluetooth, and you won't need any wires like the AUX cable running about. I used to use. I used to use this thing that plugged into the aux that was a Bluetooth, but now I don't need that, you know, because I've got this Bluetooth thing right here. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy um, watching me install it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff and subscribe if you are new. Thanks again to Auto Pumpkin for sending this uh, head unit out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see their faces in my next video. What?